competition makes us all better. And when those guys are competing and playing hard and uh, being a productive players and it's in a positive way, I think it's great. Do they talk much about it? Do you, do you talk much about it? No, I tell you, we've got a competitive group. we got some guys that really enjoy playing the game and playing together, and I think that's been the most fun thing to be around is these guys really enjoy each other. They give each other a hard time. They have a good time playing and working, and, uh, and that's part of, of being a good team, and, and I think we've got a good camaraderie in our group. Is it rare to find a group like that that kind of has that well, I think football is a hard game. I mean, it's a tough game. It's a lot of work, a lot of hours, preparation, lifting weights, running, practicing is not always fun. And I think that the, the, these kids have approached things so far the right way. I think we've improved and taken steps forward uh, week to week, day to day, game to game. And I think that's, that's been the most pleasing thing for me to see the development uh, th throughout the, the early part of the season. We've got to continue to develop. We've got to continue to improve. We're not satisfied where we are. Is it hard to know? as much as you want to know about this group because they haven't been in a close game, um, you know, haven't really been in the dog play. You know you're going to see a lot of these in Big 12 play where they'll be tight down the wire. Is it tough to, to really have a great idea about how this group will respond? Well, I've got a pretty good idea through the through adversity. We'll respond well, and, and we're going to, we're, we need to face some adversity. And uh, and I'm, I'm, I think our guys will rise to the challenge and the opportunity. I look forward to it. Well, it's, it's, you know, we've had a good work ethic. I think we've come out and worked at practice. And that, you know, I'm young, but I'm old-fashioned, and I believe that you you will play like you practice. And I think the kids have, have bought into that. And, and uh, we're, we're just trying to continue to move forward and, and improve. And, and with our work ethic and, and our ability in some spots, I think we've got a chance. It seems like guys like Sergio and Brian, we've always known there's talent there, but we're finally seeing the full potential of what they can do. Do you feel like you're seeing them develop this year? Well, I think that you know most most players really started to develop in their junior and senior years, and I think that that's the natural progression. And the natural progression is not for a freshman to come in and be a star. That's not that's that's not the way it's supposed to be. And I think over a period of time of lifting with Jeff, uh, going through the the off season programs, uh, understanding a little bit more about the game, the opponent our own scheme and I think that th that that in time is what helps players develop to, to the ability they need to have and, and play with. Which is different is it when you face a running back that's like Stewart that's like five six and he's under the line you can't say is there a di any kind of different approach? Well I think so. I, I don't know if there's a different approach. I, I think from the kid's standpoint, you know, when you play a low center of gravity guy, you know, very much like Michael Smith at Arkansas you know, you're not going to butt anybody down. I mean, you, you got to wrap guys like him, and you can't stop your feet in the open field. Everybody in coaching talks about breaking down. That's the worst thing to do is stop your feet when you tackle a kid like this because he's so quick out of his cuts. So you got to run through him. You got to wrap him, and, and that's something we're going to continue to work on. We're not where we need to be from a tackling standpoint. We did improve from the last game, but that, that's something every week the good defenses we've been a part of are the ones that tackle well and tackle well in space and eliminate explosive plays. So. Uh, you do when you face a smaller back. You, you got you understand that you can't stop your feet because of his quickness, and and you've got to wrap well in the open field. What does your defense need to do this week Well, I think first of all you stop the run. I mean they they they've really effectively run the ball. They do a good job in their misdirections uh, in the running game as far as what I call window dressing. A lot of motion, a lot of different looks they give you in the running game. Uh, stop the run. Stewart and uh, Scott and Sumler have all been effective in running the football. He does a good job of game planning you and kind of scheming uh, the, the defense each week with what he tries to attack in the run game. Cody Hawkins is a, is a gutty, gritty performer, a guy that uh, you know scrambles, creates plays, got good arm strength down the field. Uh, they've got three receivers that can stretch the field vertically on you. Uh, a lot of boots and neck, it's pocket movement, so it's not as going to be as much of a stationary pocket like it was this past week. So we've got to adjust to that and make sure our kids understand, uh, you know, the environment they're going into in Boulder. It'll, it'll be a, a great crowd, a great opportunity, uh, national TV, and, uh, and our kids are, are excited about it. Do you feel like that's 
Well, I do. I, I felt good about our rush all year. I really have. I, I feel like we've gotten to the quarterback, and when you face with with the new rules and the quarterback's able to scramble and throw the ball away, that's those, those used to be sacks. And, and uh, we've been pressuring the quarterback, affecting the quarterback, and I've been pleased with it. And I kind of liken sacks to turnovers. You know, they're going to come. You just got to continue to play hard, continue to chop the wood, and eventually it's going to happen for you. No, they're all the same. They they all count as one. How many of those seven sacks would you consider to cover sacks? Wow, I, I wouldn't. You know, I, I would say at least two to three. You know, where the where quarterback's resetting in the pocket. Any time we count as a reset, that's a that's an attribute to our coverage. And he reset the ball several times in the pocket. So I would say probably two or three. And, and, and again, that goes back to, again, the rush. The guys keep coming. So, you know, the, the key to pass rush is get off. And, and number two to me is don't ever stop your feet. Once you stop your feet and those guys are able to latch on to you, you're dead in the rush. So our guys did a good job of continuing to play. Ryan Palmer said it was all seven. Yeah, well, <laughs> that doesn't shock me. But uh, no. Well, you know, not 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 as much. I think because of the the youth. I think that they don't. I don't know how much how multiple they can get in the run game. They 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 change week to week. I mean, that we will face some new things. Uh, but I think they're all good bounce runners. They get the ball on the edge. Uh, Stewart's very effective in the open field. Uh, and Scott's a guy that's going to be a really good player. He's a bigger back, but has good quickness on the edge and, and is able to kind of slash and cut on you. So. Uh, you know, week to week, they change a little bit schematically how they approach the run game. We've got to do a good job of adjusting through the game and make sure we understand what they're trying to do to us. And, and uh, so thus far, has been pretty positive. Coach, do you like seeing your, your teammates motivate each other and have that sort of Well, competition is the best motivator. I mean, we're all better when we, when we have somebody competing next to us that and may take our job. And that's a great – for a coach to have – uh, guys working to make each other better, working to make themselves better, and that makes everybody pay a little bit more attention to detail and cover the little things a little bit better. And so from a coach's standpoint, that's a, that's a great thing to have. You said all the games are, are the same, but why do you think the guys come up here and say that when they get in the conference, it just feels different? Well, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not saying that, you know, I just, I don't treat any game differently. I treat them all the same. I don't spend any more hours at the office as I do when we get ready to play anybody. It's it's all the same to me. I think when you start treating one game more important than the other, it's very visible to the kids. And I think you approach them all the same with the same demeanor, the same intensity, and the same passion that you approach everything. And and they, therefore, you got to remain on that even keel through a long season. You don't get too high or you don't get too low. You know, you just always stay on the same same level. He stays alive in the pocket. I mean, he's a guy that really uh, – you know, we will see a lot of pocket movement, boots, naked, get him on the edge. He's a good athlete. He's got good arm strength down the field. And uh, and, and he's a guy that's not going to be very stationary in the pocket. You know, uh, a guy I don't know that we've really faced a guy so far this year that kind of like him, probably like Chase Clement of Rice. Uh, very good runner. Uh, so we really got to stay disciplined in our pass rush lanes. And, uh, and as far as the coverage breakdown, uh, he's a great scrambler and, and locating receivers down the field. So quarterback scrambles are going to be key in the game of him and him up, number one, but number two, making sure we cover after the scramble because there may be some times we're going to have to be covering six, seven, eight seconds because of his ability to avoid the rush. Coach, do you have to do anything as a coach to make sure the guys don't look ahead to a game like, oh, you or do you expect the guys to, to – to, to do that themselves. No, I, you know, we, I asked them yesterday 14 times who we played this week, and they said Colorado. <laughs> and I asked them where we played, and they said Colorado. So I think they understand. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, right. Coach. Y'all take care.